This right here is a new auger bit. This is a six inch auger bit. Whereas this is a nine inch auger bit. You can see the difference in the size of the, of the fins there. Uh, the smaller auger bit will make uh, putting in the fence posts a lot easier. Um, this big one, uh, the, this nine inch, they come in six, nine and 12. And so when I bought this system, uh, I went with the middle of the line uh, bit, figuring it'd be pretty much the best all purpose. Well, it's perked out pretty good, except it leaves a pretty big hole for fence posts. It means you use an awful lot of concrete. Um, use like half a bag of concrete to fill it up and then dirt over top of that. I'd rather have a smaller hole and make that half bag of concrete go a lot further with the smaller bit. This is the county line um, three point hitch auger system. Um, if you look back at my videos, uh, I've got a couple videos where I'm using this to put in fence posts. These are also real good if you're putting in a bunch of shrubs, things like that. You can drill the hole, drop the shrub in, good, pretty good to go. Uh, the, as you saw with the work over at the pond, the ground here has got an awful lot of uh, clay. That means it's It'll grab that auger bit and just suck it right down. Uh, in fact, digging the or putting those posts in for the last fence, we actually had to dig this thing out a couple of times. So, all in all, this has been a pretty good unit. Um, got to put oil on that thing. It does leak a little bit, so you got to add oil to the head almost every time. Um, if you don't, you still got to check it, and make sure it's good. Uh, I know these shrouds that they put on these. Uh, where the PTO goes on it's supposed to protect it it's supposed to keep the brush out in all actuality it doesn't all it does is make it more difficult to put the stupid thing on the tractor the only real problem I have with this thing is this point right here this is supposed to contain this uh, a little bit of heavy use watered out this little bit of a hole right here to the point that this fell out so what's going to have to happen is I will put it back in. I will put it in this way with the big hole and the little hole like that. Put it back in, the hammer back in, and uh, I'm going to weld it so it's solid. Other than that, this unit has been fantastic. Uh, once I fix this part right here, which I think is the weakest point in the whole system, uh, it'll be good to go. Um, I have used and abused it a little bit. If you look straight down the line there, it does have a little bit of a bend to it. Well, I jerked it a few times trying to get it out of there. And that's fine. Like I said, I've put my tractor through hell and I'm not going to stop now. This thing has held up really, really well. Um, that's it. Here's my wood yard. You've seen that in other videos. It's a mess now. We had a tree limb come down in the driveway and I drug it over there to deal with. Uh, these are my other implements. I'm hoping this year I'll come up with something that I can keep them up off the ground. Uh, my brush hog and stuff is behind me. Um, Got to get the backhoe back on and get start getting some work done with it. Uh, mainly, you can't really see it in the video very well, but right there is the uh, the beaver dam around the overflow system for the pond. Uh, they put a dam all the way around it and then started damming the passive overflow, which was down there. That's where I was working. Um, I need to get the backhoe out so I can dig all of that out so this pond can get back down to the, the correct level. Right now, it's a little bit stressful on the bank if it gets too high. And it's dropped probably eight inches since I took out that little dam that they had in there this time. Anyway, truck's cleaned out. I've got this thing over here. Um, time to work on the next project.